Welcome back. So I got interesting question uh, from Tim on uh, Instagram. Uh, he also watches the the channel um, about shear scraping tool. Now uh, his question is um, or a statement that it doesn't uh, scrape uh, as fine as he would like. Now I don't use negative rig scrapers. There will be something like a skew. That's the closest I have for it. Um, but if you like using like something like negative rake scraper, uh, just go for it. It's your your personal preference, and that's okay. I prefer standard scraper because they are much more versatile. You can take heavy cuts, you can take uh, nice finish cuts, you can shear scrape it, scrape the wood. Uh, you can also shear scrape with a negative rake, but I find it much more easier to use. Uh, this standard scraper and uh, the burr actually lasts quite a bit longer than on a negative rake because of this single bevel design. So this is how this uh, shear scraper looks. Uh, this is designed after Richard Raffen signature tools and uh, you can see the corner is removed, this round over corner so you have this nice sharp point to make a decoration. Uh, now I've removed the burr on top here, I'll show you just here in a second. If I do this, if I hone the top of the scraper, now it's much less aggressive, but also there is no burr. This will be equivalent of a scraper that is dull. Uh, now I will bring you in closer so you can see the grain and you can see the scraper in action. Okay, so. This is a piece of cherry, and this is without the burr on top. Now, with the, if you want uh, heavy cuts, then just apply more pressure. Now you see, the surface isn't too bad. But still, there is a uh, pulled out uh, grain here. You can maybe see it a bit better here as well. So, that's the heavy cut. If I just uh, use light pressure, and I just want the dust over the edge, uh, which with, without the burr, it's a little bit heavier. If you hear in the background thunder and everything, it's we have a storm. You see, it's a little bit improvement, but not by much. Still, you can see it's a little bit less this pick, picked up grain. Uh, this will be sanded away pretty quick. Okay, now I'll actually show you uh, on the grinder sharpening and I'll get a nice clean burr on top. Okay, so this is a record power uh, RSBG8, so it's 8 inch uh, diameter wheel uh, grinder and uh, this is 100 grit. I don't use anything finer, finer than uh, 100 grit apart from the diamond horns I use to hone the scraper between the sharpening so uh, so first I'll check uh, if I'm right on the bevel where I should be and I'll try to show you you can maybe see although this is freshly ground as well but you can see here about mil and a half two mil a uh, little bit different color here at the very beginning so I'm on a total bevel, so that's the platform is okay. And now I just lightly press on the wheel and roll the edge. Until I see the discoloration, slight discoloration or raising the burr right at the tip.
and usually you can feel the burr if you just go with your finger like this so I don't know if you can see right here at the very edge the tip the burr this slightly raised thing here and if I go with the lead backwards you can see it scrapes the pencil on the lead so this is the magic part about the scrapers okay so we're back at the lead with the freshly uh, grind burr on the top and uh, now you'll see a complete difference uh, the way the shavings go over the edge and the fine dust the powdery stuff as well so I'll do a nice clean cut so lightly So this is now scraping without any pressure. I'm really neutral on the on the wood and I hope you can see how this powdery stuff is glued onto my hand and here as well on the edge here. It tells me I'm scraping really lightly and this surface feels now much better so I'm not sure if you can pick that up but it's really quite different there's a little bit more torn out here so I can go one more pass Again here at the center the wood is not uh, spinning as fast so you just have to adjust your rate of scrape. And this is now you can see really powdery stuff. So this is flat, there is another option where I can tilt this about 45 degrees and use the burr that way. Now this is now ready for sanding, this will take 180 grit, maybe a few seconds to smooth out, which I'll actually show you. But first I want to shear scrape it, I'll drop the rest a bit and you probably will see where the dust is coming from. So as Richard likes to show, oops, I bumped the camera, this is the part I'm using, you can see the, this fine powdery stuff on the bottom half portion of the scraper. Again, light pressure. See how this now looks. Okay, that's as best you can get on side grain like this. So I just lightly uh, sand this with 180 grit. You can see here 180. I'll use uh, 240 as well, just a little bit. And that's it. There will be little marks, uh, like circular marks, which you can get rid of quite quickly, but this is what I want to show you. There is no tear out, no picked out grain. So 320 and this will be nicely done. 
nicely finished. I can even take it out the chuck and show you a different light. So this is how it looks. So a few seconds with 180 grit and a few seconds with 240 and there is no picked out grain, there is nothing so that's the side grain. I mean the proce procedure is similar if you're making the outside of the bowl. Um, so the important thing is you can scrape without the burr on top here. But it's much more efficient tool and you can get much finer surface if you have this tiny burr on the top. So when the burr is gone or worn out here at the top of the, the scraper, uh, what I like to do make a few passes on the top just to remove any broken burr so it's now nice and clean and you find the bevel tries to show you like this you find the bevel and you hone it like this now I like to use it on a tool rest just as a, I have a little bit more support and this takes a few seconds and this now has again nice sharp burr on the top. Just want to show you this was a roughing cut uh, how the surface looks here. So you can see how it's badly torn out. So this is the end grain part. This is side grain, a little bit cleaner. Again end grain here which is badly pulled out. So again the scraper is used. You, this edge has to be less than 19 degrees on the uh, incoming wood and a light touch you can see the dust I'm producing really fine stuff and really light touch So this is scraper flat used, let's see the surface and you can see the scraper how it's the, the powdery stuff, the tiny bit shavings, fluffy shavings and we can see here this is the end grain part it's much cleaner this is the side grain it's cleaner even still is that a word actually that's not correct <laughs> uh, so this is once again this is the end grain it's much finer now and side grain here clean as well but I can improve it if I tilt the scraper about 45 degrees again light touch I'm trying to show you this really in close up so you get the idea. Okay, so this is the end grain part. Now this is now really smooth. This part as well. Now I'll just bring the camera out a little bit so you can maybe get better full bigger picture idea, let's say. So you can see here the end grain. This is the most troublesome area here. This is now cut really good. This is side grain, which is cut even finer. So like I said, with traditional scrapers like this, I have much more uh, versatility now I can even make a platter the outside with just this tool. So. So these are now 
uh, roughing cuts and now just want to refine the surface now bear in mind the better steel you have the the better the burr will be and the sharper so this is high speed steel this is the from the high speed steel bar which I made at the scraper my, uh, on my own um, but it's not the best quality of high speed steel so just want to now get clean cuts I can shear scrape it and now just the corner here really light touch so that feels great this is a little bit rougher still and make a decoration and clean that tiny bead here Just nice, nice little pressure. So the outside of the platter is done. Just a uh, you know few minutes with sanding. 180, 240, 320 and that will be it. Uh, so I hope I convince somebody to start using standard scrapers a bit more. Like I said, I, I don't have the need for negative break because I can get a really pristine surface uh, of the scrapers, either flat or even better, tilted up on edge. So I hope, Tim, uh, this video will answer your question.